Hello everyone guys here and welcome to a brand new matchup video. Today I'm gonna show you another game versus Raza Priest with my control mage. It is another high legend game. I hope you guys will enjoy as always. Um, I think this is a pretty damn good matchup for me. I'm around 63% on high legend against all the Razokus priests and yeah that's pretty impressive I would say because you shouldn't have like that big of an edge on a high legend it should be like five percent at most but i think the main reason why i have such a good win rate is because of all the practice i have against razakus priest people really don't face any control mages at all i'm pretty much the only player that is playing control mage on high legend like i haven't faced a single mirror match in the last two or three hundred games that I played and yeah this really gives me a big edge over the other tier one decks. Overall this matchup comes down to who draws the two essential cards first. From the mage side it is the Death Knight Jaina and the Medivh from the priest side it is the Raza and the Anduin. It's a very interesting matchup you can do a lot of things during the game that helps you win the game more con more often and uh, like shipping acolytes and all that stuff uh it's a pretty good matchup i really enjoy playing it and i hope you guys enjoyed today's clip and i see you guys right after oh it's him again playing priest i don't mind priest it's a pretty bad hand I think he wanted to snipe me. I'm gonna remove him from. I don't know. I feel like removing people. I don't want people to snipe me. I mean, he killed priest into me. Okay, this matchup is all about drawing Jaina and Mediv in time and deny his draw. I like an early spin bender. So here, the coin is not that important in this matchup. I don't really need to coin Firelands Portal or coin uh, Jaina or anything like that. Coin Medivh. Um, so gaining bot control, preventing him from getting any chip damage on me is very important. It's very difficult for Priest to deal one damage. So just double buffing the Mana Worm seems pretty good. Um, like he can't really easily kill the free one. And I like Spellbender because of Potion of Madness and Pouch Shield. So no, and I don't need to get an Ice Pick out this early. I hope you like my invention. Here we just go for a ping. Uh, to protect our guy next turn maybe glyph At last. keep bender for death mm, i think that's very optimistic it might work but it feels optimistic. Hmm. Actually very interesting. Thing is, if I play minions... So, he played the Kazakus. He might go for one mana removal or for AoE. Hmm. So maybe I go like... Another problem is... I drew already two secrets. So if I would top deck another iceberg that would be really bad for me. I can see him just go for like a deal five damage what and draw two cards. Instead of four damage AoE. Would you really want four damage AoE? Man, it would be really unlucky too, but I have to play around it. I don't want to overextend. I really don't want to. It's 
Let's hope I don't draw. I think it's very bad to play the Archaeologist. Let's hope I don't draw the second block. Turns out that the glyph play was really nice because it gave me the fire portal on five right for his. That was actually not an obvious turn, the turn before. So the fire portal here seems to line up very good. Plays into his imaginary Kazakh's potion. But he, he kind of snap played there as a. I don't want to get like super punished. Maybe I just go fireball. What to do? What to do? Maybe he has resurrect. If he has resurrect, then the Raza is much better. I don't think he went for a ten mana potion. I'm pretty sure he went for a five mana potion. Maybe he had like like sheep or random minion because of that. I really like having a 5 attack minion. It's nice that I have the Spellbender up for a Potion of Madness, because this would be a pretty juicy Potion of Madness, not gonna lie. Blessed be this funnel cake. So he doesn't have Potion of Madness, he would have hopes and played it. I really like getting value out of the 2-5 instead of using just a fireball 12, 14, 16 damage to the face <sighs> I don't want to waste my fireball I mean, if he had a Dragonfire Potion, he would have used it. If he had a Kazakus AoE Potion, he would have also used it. So am I going all in here? It's, it's like a tell, right? A read. Maybe he didn't want to go AoE Potion because of this guy. Maybe I'm going a little bit too much all in here. It is a very situational all in. That was my read that he didn't have a I really liked that I uh, went all in here. It was a read, 100%. Okay. Let's take Six plus three. So I'm one damage off. Or one mana off. Whatever you prefer. Does it really make sense to go fireball phase?
fuck. Missed four damage, it's a big deal. I think it was protect, correct to protect my board because he doesn't have AoE. Like it hurt so much to use the yeah, missed for damage is problematic. The light has betrayed me. This time the Jaina, that's good. I found it first. Because he has the Anduin plus Razar, Lethal is not no longer an option anyways. It's just better. So uh, I get more elementals every time I kill his stuff. I could just go Baron get in here, just kill his garbage. I don't mind the meteor as well. I kinda like the meteor more because I take out the two big ones. I could go with Kanic Potion to make him cheap, uh to take out this guy. But I'd rather take out more damage from the board. Keep in mind he always has to kill my board elementals. I'm not sure if the radiant elemental just being on board is a bigger threat than 6 power.
short. Yeah, I go for the heal. Oh. Oh, is this really correct? So about drawing the last card, which is really good. Mm. That he has to kill my my guy prevents him from playing the, and I have to get rid of the board. I have to block, I can't lose. In my mind I can't lose because of the Alex. I can't even go. Oh, this is GG. I really like playing against good Razakus Priest players. Just to see if my deck is actually good because I know how to play my deck. But can I actually beat good players as well? Yeah, if he can't proc me, this is... Like, he drew 14 cards more than me. That's so insane when you think about it. I have to beat a Razakus Priest with half my deck. <laughs> Pretty much. Next turn he will proc me. Except I go Alex. But he... you know... Next turn I will go Sheep. Ice block ping. Melts away. He might have smite in hand. He still has like yeah, definitely him. Let's see. Four cards. Rest in pieces, dude. He doesn't even have Mind Blast. Not all are lost. Do you like to play with fire? I don't want a rope when I know what to do. Your victory proves nothing. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as always. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. Also make sure to check out my daily streams link to the list in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching once again. See you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day. Um, Peace out.